Goes. Okay. My name is Rena Pasek. I'm a professor at the University of California, San Francisco, and I have been a cancer disparities researcher for the past 25 years. I also direct community education and outreach for the UCSF Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center. I am uh, trained in public health. People think of UCSF, they think of laboratories and doctors in white coats, but my laboratory is the community. I work with communities and clinics to try to address what we call health disparities. That is the bigger burden of disease, and in my case, I'm working particularly on cancer that affects low-income communities and communities of color. Unfortunately, the African-American community experiences the greatest burden of cancer. Death rates are higher, and in some cases, people are more likely to get cancer. For example, African-American men get more prostate cancer than any other population, and they're twice as likely to die once they're diagnosed with that disease. This is what a disparities researcher works on. But we have to do this in partnership with the community. This is not something that I can sit in my office and figure out how to do. So I work with many incredibly wonderful leaders in the black community and particularly clergy and faith leaders. These are people who share our passion for health and together we're working to change the course of these disparities. The program that we're holding today is called the Great Gathering for Health and Community. It's where we bring together health ministry leaders from churches all over the Bay Area. We catch up with each other, we share information, we bring new information from the field of medical research to the health ministry leaders so they can share this and make a difference in their communities. We've been working together in this partnership for many years. I feel like the people who are here today are my old friends. It's a real joy, a pleasure, and an honor to be able to be part of this community and to make a difference for health disparities. Is that enough? Thank you very much, Doctor.